Hi beautiful darling, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gina. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Hey, my old people, you know I love you guys so much. I do appreciate you guys for always supporting me. This channel, I do stories about my life in Saudi Arabia. Hey, guess what? My daughter's birthday, okay, Nanege Wansa. Happy birthday to you. You are five years today, and I have really missed you. Happy birthday. Like, I want God to bless you to become a good girl, like the way I want you to be, okay? May God bless you, may God strengthen you to become. I want you to become a good girl and a big girl, okay, so that you can take good care of me when I'm old. I love you baby girl, I love you. Sending my greetings and my love and a lot of hug to you. I really miss you a lot. Don't worry, okay, very soon you will see mama. Very soon I will be with you. I love you, I love you so much. May God be with you, may God protect you. Whatever you will do, may God be your helper, may God lead you, okay? So guys, help me wish my beautiful baby girl, Mane Ejewa Ansa, happy belated birthday. She is five years today, and I'm so grateful for how far God has brought her, for how far God has brought us, okay? So happy birthday to my daughter. Okay, so let's get straight to the point. First, I will know, okay, I don't want to waste your time so today i want to tell you things that i don't like about my work housemate job the first one is pressure 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 these people can give you pressure to the extent of like sometimes i ask myself how many like me yesterday how many am i is it true am i true or three the pressure is sometimes eh? This one will call you to do this for her. Other one will be calling. All of them will be calling. Do this for me. Do this. And they will say, sorry, sorry, sorry. That means hurry up, hurry up. And like I ask myself, like are they not having any mind that this person is only one? So she have to do it one after the other. The pressure, the pressure on me is too, is too much for me. Okay, you know one person seven people more than ten. Or eleven in the house. I think there, there's a pressure, and the other one is like, you know, I cook, I do everything in the house. Sometimes I, I will be telling myself I want to do this, and they will also say do this. Okay, we will plan today. We are going to eat this, and when you get up and you started with cooking, and they will come and tell you do different thing. It's a too much pressure and confusion. They will be confusing you. And then the another one is fear. Fear. They don't like also is fear. Fear is really causing a lot of harm in, in my life or a lot of people's life as a house job. The, the example is nowadays if you go to YouTube, if you, wherever you are, you'll be hearing stories about this country. Some are dying, some are crying, some are sick. They are killing people a lot of people are coming out with their different stories and some of their stories are you know it's it puts fear in you you don't even know that whether you are going you are going to survive or if you are going to sleep will you wake up or something so sometimes the fear in us it's 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 unbelievable and it's unbearable especially when you are sick okay and you don't know whether you get up again or you get the strength again to go back to your country so it really cause fear fear in us and then another one is i don't like when you are sick eh? When you are sick, they don't care that you are sick. I think you don't even have to complain to them because they are not going to give you a minute for you to rest because you are sick. The only thing they will tell you is go and take Panadol. And Panadol, if you take too much of Panadol or painkiller, it has a, a side effect. But the only thing they know is go and take Panadol. That's all. 
go and take Panadol. That's the only thing you will do. Me, whenever I found myself that my faith, whenever I found my faith, that means they know something. There's something wrong somewhere. If I say I'm sick, they will always say go and take Panadol. They will not say rest. That they cry, the work you will do it. It costs more time the work you've been doing every day. So if you are sick, you have to rest. And then the another one is no respect. They don't respect us at all. They don't. But for me, me, I have already advised myself that when I was coming here, I'm not expecting respect from anybody. Okay, so if you don't respect me, I don't care. But at least we are human beings, so we need to show respect to someone who is working for us. We need to show appreciation. Like, let's say, example, the kids will be calling you, shouting on you. The parents are there, they will be looking at their kids all day, shouting on, uh, on you, and they can't say anything. We have names, like my name, they can call me, but they will not mention my name. They will call me Kadama, Shadara, you know, different names. In this house, Grammy, I have a special name that they used to call me. They used to call me, but I don't care. They don't respect us. So they think we are house help, so we are useless or something. But they don't know that we have our own plans. That's why we are still here. So they don't show respect. They see us like an animal. You see? They don't respect us. And then there another one. The baby, sometimes the baby will be calling you. And if you go there, they will spit on you. They will spit on you and they will not tell you anything. You go and they will not tell you anything. They don't have anything to say. The only thing they want to do is to spit on you. And their parents or their mothers will be sitting and look at them without saying any word to them. So they don't respect. And another one is working 247. 247 without off. You can work from morning 9 a.m. It depends on the time you finish your work and sleep. But you can work 14 hours, 15 hours, and you are still working. And at the end of the day, you don't have off day. Every day you are working two for seven. So sometimes I ask myself, these people, what do we what do they think we are or what do they think I am? Don't they have any feelings for me that I'm tired or something? So the only option for you whenever you are tired is to go back to your country. That's the only option. But if you are not going to your country, that means you are not tired. Okay? So we work 247 without off. No off. But for them, when they work small, they are tired. I know someone in this house and she don't do anything. But every day she's tired, every day she's sick. Then I ask, what about me? Me working every day, doing everything myself. But still now, nah, I'm still working two for seven. They are very, very lazy. They don't do anything. Whenever you get to their camp, they, they are house, everything is from their neck. They can even ask you what, or they will ask you for, they will ask you their pants, right? One day, I was telling myself that one day, if the husband wants to do the thing, cry, if care is not taken, they will come and ask me, where is my thing? My husband wants to do it. <laughs> they are very lazy, 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 lazy. And sometimes, when you are going to clean it, and they are sitting on the wall, and you are, you are having the back, and they have seen you, bad that you are coming to clean there. Instead of them to get up from the floor for you to clean it, oh my god, you can stand there for some hours, some minutes. You can stand there for some minutes and they were not minding you. Unless the time they want, sometimes right, they will suck you back to go unless they are finished or they, they want you to come and sweep before. Meanwhile, they call you to bring the vacuum to come and sweep you. But they are not going to get up for you to, to sweep there. And then one thing I don't like about it, when every place that they will sit, two or three people will sit, when they get up, you need to clean, go and clean there. They are very, very dirty tissues here, 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 here. You know, meanwhile, we have 
it has been there that they, they can put the the tissue inside but they will not because they know they have I don't know how they see us but they don't respect us we are doing anything for them but they don't respect us at all so these are the things I don't like about the job I'm doing you know they will do whatever they want to do but you know you are a warrior and warriors warriors don't stop okay unless they win unless they win before they stop so you are a warrior you are so you are a savior you are saving people okay so make sure you keep on saving till you get what you want that's why i always said no condition is permanent okay you can disrespect me you can spit on me i don't care the only thing i will say i, I don't care i don't care about you because I, when, when i get what i want I know balance, I will go back to my country. When I get it, I will go. So you can do whatever you want. If only you are not killing me, or you are not bullying me, you are not maltreating me, you give me food to eat, then I don't care. The work is there, me, my body, I always do exercise work. <laughs> I always prepare myself towards the work, okay? So this is the thing I don't like about my job, okay? So I will end this video here. Thank you so much for always watching my video. Please, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up, comment, like, and share, and subscribe to my channel. And hit that notification button. So whenever I upload a new video, then you'll be the first person to see my video. I love you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me. Remember, my condition is permanent. Until I meet you in my next video. Bye for now.